this is the application platform, Interactive Labs. And uh, as you can see right now, it's the Cube Servo 2 experience in terms of going through a basic introduction to control systems. So as you can see here now, um, being able to go through a modeling experience where, uh, again, we start with motivation. All of our curriculum always starts with motivation. Motivation is a hugely important part of how we see engineering um, pedagogy. And so we really want to give students um, really upfront a feel for what the point of this particular piece of material is. Why are we learning about this concept? How will we use this in the future? Um, and so we always start with that sort of context in terms of what is the motivation behind this particular theoretical concept. Uh, talk about some of the main key concepts and system diagrams that are going to be in use in this particular laboratory experience. This material, as I said, has been custom designed for this and also designed in a context where we expect this to be used alongside material from another resource, whether it be a traditional textbook or online resources or experience controls platform. We expect this to, to really be sort of an introduction or a refresher on these concepts just so they can check back with what uh, the different sort of main elements of what they're doing are, are, but also for a deep dive into the theory, find another resource, hopefully ours or hopefully uh, one of yours to be able to get that really deep understanding of how these theoretical concepts are applied. But then very quickly, we'll jump right to the experience, right to the simulation where you can run the simulation. You can see the response of your system. As you can see here, my red response is the actual system and the blue one is my theoretical um, my theoretical gains, I can tune that, run it again, hopefully get a little bit closer. So you can see I overshot quite a bit, but basically now I'm interacting with this real system. I'm building my theoretical model to try to match this actual piece of hardware, um, in quotation marks, I suppose. And uh, from that, I'm starting to understand how modeling comes together and how modeling can, can differ from real systems, which is the main outcome we want students to have with this activity. Um, and then, if you look here, I can actually go through a check your understanding progression and actually see, did I observe what I was supposed to observe with this? Did I, am I starting to understand how these different elements of the platform and elements of the questions and the interactions affect those theories? And then finally, the assessment questions, as I said, where you can actually create long form lab report style assessments and uh, submit those to your, your instructors. And hopefully in the future, that will be a little bit more integrated to really make that a simple and straightforward process as well. And with that, I'll flip to Paul Karam and he can show you the Windows experience. All right, this is the Windows side of the application. So a little bit different uh, in terms of uh, the look and feel, but the content, the expectation, everything's the same. So here, this is the position control uh, lab, basically tuning a PD controller on our servo motor. And so you can see with the, on the window side, it is a full um, 3D engine. And so you can uh, pan and tilt and zoom around the, uh, the experiment itself. So in this case, I'm really interested in the position of that load disk. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my experiment. And what this is doing is um, at this point, the students have been guided to come to, the, to this part of the lab. Um, this is them trying based on a simple model, and you can see I've toggled here the model. So what's happening in the background is that it is running a full simulation of the mo of the theoretical model, a uh, simple second order uh, model of our cube servo. And right now um, it's applying a PD controller to it. Hopefully uh, you can see the, the ringing on the plot. I'm not sure how good the ringing is coming out through the, the video stream that you have right now, but trust me, once you download the application, you, you see the full fidelity of the experience um, on Windows, which is something we, we definitely uh, want you to experience as well. So right now I'm just going to keep increasing my derivative gain to dampen out that ringing in those oscillations and get it to a point where it behaves quite well. And you can say this, this behaves well on my model device. Um, then the, the next step of this of this lab or this experience that uh, we are providing is we ask the students to now try it on the actual, quote unquote actual. And this has more uh, nuanced dynamics. And so this, uh, like Peter mentioned, we know our systems very well. We have them completely uh, modeled to, to a fairly, uh, uh, deep degree and so part of this now says okay these are the nuances between a model and a th and the actual system and then how do you 
you know, develop your control system to be robust and be able to handle uh, these unknowns or uncertainties that once you base a control system over a model device, how do you bring it over and uh, try it out on the actual and what are the differences and how can you account for those when you're um, approaching any closed loop control problem. Um, and and with the, with our buttons, you can you can try different views, and uh, and again, the student is free to uh, go around and take a look at the, the the system itself. This is a simple system, but as we get more complex with things like the arm, the pendulum, and the arrows uh, system that I'm going to show you right now, then there's more uh, rationale to you know go around and, and see it. So, for example, here we will show you on the arrow um, a basic balance controller and so this is a more complex uh, dynamic system it's, uh, it, it's a MIMO system and it's uh, quite coupled in its dynamics of both the pitch and its yaw and so the experiment uh, you know the user is uh, given or, or walks through the modeling of the system and then compares it on the actual plant itself and looks for different ways of you know standard um, traditional control versus more modern states-based approaches and really looking at what are the benefits of one versus the other and how you can leverage more information over your system to get it to uh, behave. This is, again, a simple example, and then it gets more progressively more complex. But for example, it's not reaching where I want it to go, so I can just increase my integral gain, and that will account for that uh, discrepancy. Um, so this is uh, just one of those examples that we saw. And uh, our goal right now is by the time uh, over the next couple of weeks when we have the complete solution, you will have about 12 different lab exercises around the different platforms that we will be providing, each of them ranging in the one to two hours per lab experience um, for the student. And obviously they can continue coming back to it to really solidify their understanding um, while, while going back and, and uh, trying, you know, interacting with the content and these experiments themselves.